Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel where today we're going to be doing another Green Bay Packers mock draft. This one an actual serious one not like my previous one where it was more of an April Fool's kind of jokey funny one. Um, this is one of my first days back from being married. I'm leaving on Friday to go to my honeymoon so I'm trying to get some content out in between real quick. Ago. I also try to get the house that's kind of a mess right now organized and stuff but I got some time here to get this out. So let's go get started with what we've been doing for the past few few mock drafts with a seven round Green Bay Packers mock draft. We have we're gonna start off slow here in the first round because we might make some trade ups depending on when some players fall, stuff, so, so on and so on. So let's go ahead and enter in. So let's go ahead and start. We have Caleb Williams, Drake May, Jaden Daniels, Martin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, JJ McCarthy, Joe Alt, Roma Dunze, Dallas Turner. Brock Bowers, J.C. Latham, Felice Fuaga, Quinion Mitchell, Terion Arnold, Graham Barton, Troy Fontenu, Fashino, Brian Thomas Jr., Jaden Verse, Amarius Mims, Laitu Latu, Cooper DeJean, Bo Nix, Tyler Guyton. And ooh, ho, 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 man, there are some names right here that look really, really good. We have Dijon Newton. Really good interior player out of Illinois. We looked at him a couple times. 50.4% pass rush. Win rate over our grade 84.9. Really, really good player here. 6'2", 295. A bit small for D lineman. We also have Byron Murphy the second, Who does not fall this far often. Six sacks. 36 hurries. Run start rate of almost 10%. 91.5% pass rush grade. 20 almost 20 percent pass rush win rate 61308 absolute freak he played nose tackle on Devondre sweat who is 360 pounds massive massive dude and they also have guys here like Nate Wiggins who is a really really good corner here <clears throat> out of Clemson is coming off off of injury which you have to take in mind here very good athlete, really good man, pretty good in zone. And then we got Cooley McKinstry, really, really good player in coverage. Good, really good in zone, good in man. But for me, here, if the board is like this, you also have like Jackson Powers Johnson, Tyler Newbin. Like, Byron Murphy is just way, way, way too good of a player to pass up here at 25. It's insane that he did not go any sooner than this. I'm going with Byron Murphy here. I'm sorry. That's just insane that he was still here. Let's see. Worthy, Jordan Morgan, Darius Robinson, Peyton Wilson, John Newton, Leggett, JBJ, Max Melton, Rackshaw McConkey. Okay. Now we're here at 41. I was trying to see a JPJ would fall, but went to 36 here. So the question is, who do we take here at 41? Corner is still in need. Old line is still in need. Um, really good player I've seen recently get some hype here is Kingsley Sumatiaya. Not really the best grades, but he has really, really good intangibles. And dream process to draft and develop on day two. The Packers really really good at draft and develop 66315 could potentially play either tackle position maybe could be a guard as well really good prospect there at BYU Packers are really really good at that kind of stash and develop type alignment so that could be something there we also have Tyler Newbin who we could always take he does have a really bad RAS score which might not want to be Packers to take him at all so could not maybe not take him. We also have Zach Frazier to center out of West Virginia, who we also take exclusively is a center. Really good strength here, which is good. Early day two pick, he could be there as well. And then we got some corners here. Mike Sandstrill. Good coverage, great good in the zone, not so great in man, which we want to run more man, but he plays all over the place here from Michigan. 5'10", 182. And there's also Kamari Lassiter. Good in man coverage here. 
Six foot one eighty, very smart football player, young guy, only twenty one years old. Could also be a good pick here. There's a lot of good options here for the Packers, like Zach Frazier, uh, TJ Tampa out of Iowa State, as well another good prospect corner prospect for the Packers. Six two, two hundred pounds, as well. Uh, footwork is bad, so it could get burned easily here. So I'm personally down between Zach Frazier and Kingsley Sumataya. Here, I think center is more of a need for the Packers because we have Rasheed Walker and um, Zach Tom at tackle, but we need center because I think Josh Myers is going to be his last year here. I need some, we're going to need some guard help. So I think Frazier here, I think it'll be a really good pick here at 41. So it's going to take Zach Frazier to center out of West Virginia. So I got to be ready to pounce here around pick 50, I think. Oh, no. Bullard went. He went at 48. Dang. Um, earlier than I thought he would go, to be honest. Hmm. Actually, what we could do here. 66. Oh, that's too far back to draft. Trade back. But what I'm seeing here, either Jaden Hicks to safety out of Washington who was really good, strong safety, all three levels, really good pro day, really fast analytics here, really good coverage, decent in run defense here. Had four forcing completions, two interceptions as well. But another player here I really, really like is Edrin Cooper, the linebacker out of Texas A&M. We need linebackers. I think that's a pretty big need for us here. Really good overall grades here. I think Packers already brought him in to visit twice, so he could be an easy Easy player to bring in. 6'3", 230. A lot of athleticism. High coverage game. Really good running backs out of the backfield and keep you scrambles, which I think the Packers will need to have here. So I think, honestly, here at 58, going with Edger and Cooper, I think will be very, very good. So let's go ahead and take him with pick 58. Let's see here. Do. Oh, Jaden Hicks one. I was about ready to pause and try to get him, but nope. Nope, nope, nope. So we got a couple more picks ahead of us. We're going to go ahead and speed forward a little bit. Oh, Trey Benson already went. That's not good. Because I really, really like Trey Benson. So there's some guys here that I would not mind taking here, but I might want to recoup some draft capital here at 88. Um, we're already taking linebacker, so we don't need our Cameron Kitchens does not fit really fit the Packers profile, so we're not going to take him. Um, Christian Mahogany could be a good player. I love, I really do think he is really solid here as a guard. Um, we also have Jerrion Jones, who I really like. We can draft back and take. Adrian Taylor Demerson, which could be good as well. So, what I'm think I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna see what I can get. Who wants to come here? Chiefs from 95. Let's see. So 95, 88. And then we'll take 159 and 221. Cool. Resume draft. Cameron Kitchens, Bucky Irving, Malachi Cor Corley. So here, I'm either here going to take Mahogany or Mason McCormick. McCormick, 6'5", 315 out of South Dakota State. Really good rankings, really good run block grade, really good in zone, but from a lower level competition, so we are worried about that. Mahogany, lower overall grades, played a right guard. Familiar with our new defense corner, who was his head coach. So that could be something good here. Guard only powerful run blocker with inconsistency in the passing game. We need to have better run blocking, so I think he could be a really good fit here. So let's go and take Christian Mahogany, the um, uh, guard out of Boston College here at pick 91. And then here at 95, I'm going to go with Jerry and Jones. Perfect slot corner for the Packers here, which the Packers I do think need. Really good in man. O overall coverage great. Good. 
Had three forced incompletions as well. Had three interceptions last year. Pass rating is a 25.3 from the slot. Really, really good player here. So we're going to take Jerrion Jones, the corner out of Florida State. So now I got some time to pick 126 here. I'm going to go ahead and move forward here. Okay. So now we got some options here. There's a couple of trade backs we could potentially do with like Buffalo or New Orleans. I'm not going to do that here. Because you had a running back here, Audric Estime, here, who could be a very interesting player for the Packers. 5'11, 227. Tough between the tackle. Tackle is more of a pounder here from Notre Dame. So, short yard specialist, which I don't know what the Packers really need, especially because we signed A.J. Dillon back. Um, there's also Justin Eboigi out of Alabama. Pretty decent pass rusher here. I not really see anything I really, really want to, who I want to take here. I mean, Braylon Allen would be, I think, a good running back prospect for the Packers here. 6'2", 245. Massive dude. So, he could be someone worth after. Decent receiver as well. He could be good. Yeah, I don't really see anyone else I really want to take. So, let's go ahead and trade back with the Bills. And move up two spots. And we'll pick. Up pick. 248. We can move back two spots. And then we'll go ahead and take Braylon Allen, the running back out of Wisconsin. Take him a little bit early, but I think he is, I think it'd be a good compliment to Josh Jacobs. Okay, now here we are at pick 159. I think I want to pick up a safety here. And right now I'm seeing Bo Braid out of Maryland. Um, high miss tackle rate. Um, coverage grades aren't the greatest. Did have an interception, allowed three touchdowns. He's 6'1", 210. Physical safety, who is willing to fit the tackle even against big ball carriers. Most common in down roll near the linebacker, which we kind of do need that box safety type role because Zayvon Kinney is going to be more of a deep safety. Um, not really a decent athlete, but so he could be a really, really good box safety for the Packers here. So I, I do think they need. It's going to take Bo Braid, the safety out of Maryland, at pick one. 59. Then we're back on the clock at 169. And who do we want to take here? I think here we will want to take a tackle to kind of stash and develop here. Now the question is, do we take Jalen Sundell out of North Dakota State? Low level competition. 6'5", 300 pounds. Might move him around a little bit depending on his measurables. Did play center a bit before moving over to left tackle. Really good grades there at North Dakota State. There's also Ladarius Henderson. Not really as good. Really, really struggled. And is smaller. So, actually, let's go ahead and take Jalen Sundell, the tackle out of North Dakota State, to kind of build up some depth there at tackle as well. Now we're at pick 202. There's some players we can go here. There's A.J. Barner, tight end out of Michigan, we could take. Which, I don't know why that's not working. There's also Hunter Norzard, if you really want to go on O-line. He's played all over the O-line at Penn State. So that could be an interesting player for the Packers to take. A.J. Barner could be a really good tight end to have on depth. But, so could be that there. Also, like Omar Brown, we could take um, Tyrone Hopper out of Missouri for more linebacker depth, but not really that great of a linebacker at Missouri. Take Anthony Gold, just a wide receiver to have from Oregon State. Had 44 receptions for 711 yards, could be an interesting player there. But I like Hunter Norzard because, it, again, it gives more depth along the O-line, but I think we've taken a lot of O-line in this draft. But uh. 
I was going to take AJ Barner. Um, he'll be a, I think, a really good like second or third tight end for the Packers. So I was going to take Barner. He could kind of replace Ben Sims, and I think getting a value like that in the sixth round would be good. I'm going to take him there. Then at two nineteen, do we have him? Yes, we have Trey Taylor, safety out of Air Force, one of my late round round guys. I really like to see the Packers take. He plays box and deep, really good coverage grade. Pretty good run defense grade, 50 tackles last year from Air Force, six foot two ten, really good size for the Packers. I would not be upset at all if we take him here, especially here at pick 219. So I'm gonna take him there. And then pick 221. This is where we get to just throwing darts at the wall and seeing what sticks. Uh, Frank Gore Jr. might not be a bad running back to take, but we're already going to be stacked up pretty heavily with running backs. Um, Omar Brown, another, like triple, get another safety here. I think could be good here. Get three rookie safeties, potentially. Um, it's a lot of corners here. We should get another corner here. Josh Wallace, out of Michigan. Pretty good coverage grade and... Run defense great, not so great in man, but pretty decent in zone. He could be an interesting corner to take here just late. Uh, Daquan Hardy out of Penn State also could be interesting as well. Um, let's go ahead and take Josh Wallace, a corner out of Michigan, just to add some more depth to our corner room. Really trying to rebuild the O-line depth and the um, uh, uh, defensive back room as well. So now we're at pick 245. This truly is just throw things at the wall. Um, Dallas Gant could be a good linebacker here out of Toledo. 87 overall grade last year. Good in run defense, good in coverage. Not so great in pass rush, but we don't really need that. 6'3", 230 pounds. I think it's worth to have a depth piece like him there. So Dallas Gant. And then here at 248. Uh, Kitad Oladapo, just to get a third safety here. Really good out of Oregon State. So I'm going to take him here. And then I pick 245, do what I always do. I take my man, Brian Uglu, out of Miami, Ohio, just, just to have him there, just to make me happy. So that is my draft. They say drafts isn't draft. I'm just going to Kieran Amiga DJ. Um, the problem is at that early, don't really think a tackle is going to be worth it. And also the Packers need linebackers. They don't have it listed as a need here on the PFF, but the Packers need, no, need linebackers. Um, if Byron Murphy falls to 25, you take him. <laughs> Byron Murphy is going to be a dominant, dominant player in the NFL, I really do believe. He could be an easy top 15 pick. He fell to us at 25. I think that is, you take him, no question about that. Uh, Zach Frazier, I think it's going to be a really good center for the Packers and center depth or maybe even take over to draw for Josh Myers. Edron Cooper, just a linebacker. The Packers need linebackers here. And so him and the Packers already brought him in a visit twice. So the Packers, I think, really, really like him. Getting him at 58 would be good. Uh, Christian Mahogany, guard out of Boston College. Again, you could pay for right guard spot or be really, really good depth as you develop him. Develop him. Uh, Jerry and Jones, I think, is going to be an excellent slot corner for the Packers. Uh, Braylon Allen, running back, def be a third running back here. Also, a hometown pick for Wisconsin. And then we got Bo Braid, safety out of Maryland for a box safety slash safety depth. Uh, Jalen Sandell, Sasha Store developed tackle. AJ Barner, tight end out of Michigan for a third tight end. Trey Taylor, safety out of Air Force, depth. Uh, Josh Wallace, Dallas Gant, Keaton Oladapo, and Brian Ogwu. All four of these guys are just deaf guys in their position. And I think could like Oladapo, Wallace, and Gant could get on the field potentially early on. They gave me a grade of A-. I really am carried heavily in a grade by Byron Murphy. I mean, I know a lot of people want Cooper Day John and all that. But Murphy, seriously, if he falls to 25, take him. Seriously. So, hope you guys like this mock draft. If you do, let me know down in the comments below. Or if you disagree, if you would, um, um, what you would do differently. 
I think this is pretty decent. I think this has a lot of needs, both in starters and in depth. So that is, yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back tomorrow with my weekend review. But then I won't be back until the week of the draft with a mock draft and a live stream of the NFL draft as well. So thank you so much. Peace out.